depends on what you're serving. I hear you like the Vespa. Yes, shaken, not stirred. Done. For the 50th birthday of James Bond and for the release of the Bond film Skyfall, we're doing the classic Vesper martini that James Bond loved. So we need vodka, gin, and vermouth. Now we're going to add two shots of gin. We got a little Bombay sapphire, but you can use whatever gin you like, right? Exactly. Now we're going to add one part vodka. I love me some uh, Daniel Craig. You know, the crazy thing about Daniel Craig is that they really struggled with whether or not they wanted to have a blonde mop. Oh, which I really? thought was kind of cool. They went with William Tin's actor and kind of broke away from the brunette bond model. Now we're going to add um, a half a shot of vermouth. Vermouth is like a, it's an alcohol, but it's also a wine. Yeah, it's, so it's like a it's hybrid. So it's kind of a right? hybrid. Yeah. yeah. It's always part of another drink. I've literally never had it. Let's have a little taste. You first. How about the same thing? Oh, cheers. Remind me of sake. Yeah, yeah, it does remind me of a lot of sake. Okay, so we have our gin, our vodka, and our vermouth. And now, we're going to shake it, not stir it. Do you know why you shake, not stir? Uh -huh, actually, it has to do with, um... Getting everything kind of really mixed together almost like really good. Huh. Versus stirring. Sometimes it doesn't get a little nice. Oh. Well, this is not a Carrie Bradshaw cosmic. This is like a grown up drink. This is a drink. This is a drink. You know, Bond's a man's man. And if he's going to have a drink, this is going to be the one. Oddly enough, though, this was a drink that we want to be found in love with. That's so even right. though it's like the man's drink, the lady brought it to him. It was a hard A woman. <laughs> Now it's time for a little bit of a lemon garnish. Have you ever made one of these before? I have not. All right, so here's what you want to do. Take a lemon and cut the bottom off like that so that it's flat, so you can sit it upright. Take a really sharp knife and hold the top of the lemon. And what you want to do is just start to slice just the yellow part. This is the rind. And the white stuff is called the pith. It's kind of bitter, so you don't want that. Now if you look, I got a little bit of yellow. Sometimes I'm better than others. Just take your same knife to cut away a little bit of that pith. Here's how you curl it. You just give it a little bit of a twist, okay? So now what you want to do, just drop it in the drink. Double O cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a taste. Woo! Woo, that's liquor. That is some liquor. That you know what? If you have a couple of these before you go see the movie. It don't even matter if the new one's good. Yeah, let's do a sweet version. This is an intense drink. <laughs> that first Vesper was a little bit strong for us, so we thought we'd make a sweeter variation of the Vesper that we like. Yeah. Let's look at the proportions. So we're gonna do two parts vodka. Oh yeah. So here's our. We're gonna use Sky Blood Orange, and Bond is no stranger to the blood. So two part vodka, one part gin, about a half a shot of Blue Curacao, which is a blue orange flavored with here. I'm gonna give it just a squeeze of lemon juice to give it some acid. I'm gonna take a lemon, rub it on the side of the glass, and just dip it right into the sugar and give it a twist. Look at this beautiful skyfall. Look sky at this beautiful skyfall sky drink. Do you want me to talk? No, I want you to drink. Better. Much better. Do so that's it for this edition of movies. movies. Dishing on movies. We are dishing on movies.